we have a transfer truck request list. This seems like a great candidate to be a power app. All right. The challenge with creating a team site, they've got everything in their OneNote. You're kind of missing the mean point of SharePoint. <laughs> There's better ways of doing it. If we summarize, what's our plan for today? We've got a very short amount of time and a lot that we're trying to get done Yeah, typically here. just yeah. three days already by itself is, is challenging enough, but just like trying to figure out what is the vision, what do they want to accomplish? And there were so many ideas. I'm glad that we decided to just kind of hone in on one. And more importantly, we have to have like interested and willing clients. Yeah. And that was yeah. really the best part. I mean, super engaged. Sean and Trisha were like totally into it. I went off and talked to some people about a, a power app, too, mm -hmm. that I'm going to be building. Talk to them about a form that's going to have a, a little bit of a workflow. We've got the power app you want to build. Heads down on the power app. Right. The training Heads page, down on the training site. The training help. And right. we're going to look at how they work in setting up a team site. I'm kind of wondering if we should split that document library or just keep it you know, like um, as a separate document library or just the document the document? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. What we're really building is a help and training environment for the Shire. So what I did was I created a page to roll up all your Tech Freddies. Okay. Your Tech Freddy archive lives on this site. It's all going to live here. Okay. The only issue is, in order to do this, we'll use a naming convention for Tech Freddy articles. Okay. And you're going to put the Shire Tech Freddy in the name. We went up and saw how the artists were working, which was really cool, and they're all using multiple monitors and doing their work. I really envisioned someone with both screens doing the work that they're normally doing and using their phone to provide the information of how to use the technology and basically replicating what they're watching on the phone on the monitors that they're actually working on. So I think it's going to be very cool, very empowering. But that left us with a team site that originally is not what they were really using it for. So we had to look at how can we add a sort of a collaboration flow, optimize their documents so that there's an approval process. And that's where most of your documents yes. are where you work. Yeah, because okay. we don't want to expose those to the public. Yeah, because th typically this is supposed to be your team site. Right. But you've shared it for communicating purposes with the rest of the world. Right. So obviously then you created your own little space inside of it. Right. What I want to help you do is make this environment yours. Visually, I like this way better because I like to be able to just see them in alphabetical orders down the page. Right. But the drop down box of oh. times was supposed to not Filter show the, stuff out that we're already, the times gotcha. that were already taken. The transfer truck form, it's a form that needs to be filled out whenever a truck needs to transfer things. Okay. Um, let's go see what it looks like. I'm going to go fill one out. Oh, look how pretty that is. Nice. Love well, that. not that it's. <laughs> I'm with you, I'm not done, but it's got I, new I controls. I just did this today, so. Right, I love it. Yeah. There's actually a brand new thing that we're using in this Power App, and that's called Customize Form. The ability to go open a SharePoint list form and click Customize Form, and just immediately right there in the browser, be customizing the way you want list form to look. This is huge, because now this actually exists for Power Apps. Mm -hmm. We could do mm -hmm. little stuff like that, yeah. like yeah. if we have time. Good view X. And then number of palettes, so you can drag that. And, nice. I work, and I can make it so it doesn't show that box there. I was just like testing cool. it. The number of projects on my list that I want to get done that include some kind of input from users and then some kind of a workflow that moves things around, I mean, probably half my projects could use that kind of feature set. All right, thanks. All right, awesome. Appreciate it. <laughs> We're running around helping three different people and I'm having to run over and say, well, can my team fix this because they need access to that? And so it's enough that we've seen it to go, oh my goodness, this is really happening. It is definitely a time crunch, especially the design. That I'm worried about not having completely done. I can put him in stream. Oh That's my God. what I'm saying. Yes, videos should not ever yeah. live in a document yeah, library. Right. And you know, while everybody's at home and relaxing, we're trying to finish work. I think we need to go talk to Michelle and Tricia. We have to do a lot of training, and then we've done something wrong.
analytics, operation, infra. This is me, we, us. We'll fix the Shire's quantity of documents. We'll cut them in. So I'm just working as fast as I can, but I'm getting a little worried. So I don't know if all this is possible to configure. Can I just do a little expectation management? I don't think all that content's gonna be here at the end of three days. So we try, but with the time difference, with all the meetings and all these conversations and thinking about all these processes, how we can make them better, we just get tired. This is so intense. Do you guys want to have a break? Time for the big reveal. We have pushed so hard over the last three days. I'm excited to see how close we got to our goal. 